Mag-read na naman kami ng book sa inyo ngayon. Ang title ng book is How Who Got His Honey. But before that, God, guys, before that, mag-read at saka mag-spell muna si TJ ng spelling niya. Example for tomorrow. N-E. A-N-Y. N-E. Any A A C E K back B A C K back just J U S T just your dog. Mm. You're the. You're you're I'm the. I don't know. Uh, I'm the. What word is that? That word. Mm -hmm, the last one. Best. They spell. B E S T best. Okay. So, yan yung spelling niya para bukas, guys, kasi meron silang uh, written exam para bukas. So, ngayon, guys, mag-read na tayo ng book. Okay. Read na ng book para sa inyo, guys. Ang title ng book is Winnie how po got his honey? Winnie the Pooh went into his cozy kitchen. He picked up a honey pot and looked inside. Oh, bother, said Pooh. It's empty. I'm out of honey again. At first, Pooh felt sad. He felt as empty as his honey pot. But then, he thought of a good plan. I will go to see Christopher Robin, said Pooh. He is my friend, and he always has honey. He will fill my honey pot for me. honey pot and set out through the hundred acre wood he was near the bee tree when he heard someone call oh they Pooh!" who looked down gopher had pop up where are you going with that big jar asked gopher this is not just a jar said Pooh. not really it is my honey pot, and it is empty. I am taking it to Christopher Robin so he can fill it up again. Who cried Gooper, will not you know? the trouble with bears said Gopher. they won't work for their honey they want someone to give it to them aren't you ashamed Pooh bear Pooh did not know what to say so he said nothing he just stared down at his own feet go to the bee tree said Gopher. get your own honey it's what any good bear worth his honey will do who looked up at the tree? He saw the bees buzzing in and out. The bee place is very high, said he. Besides, this is not a friendly tree. It has no branches to help a climbing bear.
And what about the bees? Asked Pooh. They will be very cross if they see me climbing their tree. Use your head, Pooh Bear, said Cooper. Don't climb up the outside. Dig under the honey tree. Then climb up the inside to the bee place. The bees will never know that you are there. With that, Gooper jumped back into his hole and tunneled away. Oh dear, said Pooh. I know it would be better to ask Christopher Robin for the honey. But if I do that, Gooper will think I am a lazy bear. I do not want Gooper to think I am lazy. Puran got his shovel. He began to dig under the bee tree. Soon he hit a root. He could not dig anymore. I will make a new hole in a new place, said Pooh. And he went to the other side of the tree. Again, he started to dig. Again, he hit a root. Oh, bother, said Pooh. Just then, Tiger came bouncing along. Pooh Bear cried, Tiger, what are you doing? I am digging my way under the bee tree, said Pooh. Once I am inside the tree, I will climb up and get some honey. How silly, said Tiger. A clever tiger would not dig, said Tiger. A tiger would bounce night right up to the bee place. He will take the honey and bounce away again. But bears are not as bouncy as tigers, said Pooh. That's because they won't try, said Tiger. Tiger bounced off a piglet and Ru came along. They had heard Tiger talking to Pooh. How is a Pooh Bear supposed to bounce like a tiger? Pooh wondered. Don't worry, Pooh, said Piglet. We can help you bounce. We can lose you in a sheet. Stay there, called Roo. I will be right back. He ran home and got one of Kanga's sheets. Piglet held one end of the sheet, and Roo held the other end. Who got onto the sheet with his honey pot? One, two, three, cried Piglet. Piglet and Roo tossed Pooh. Whee! Pooh bounced high and higher and higher. Look at me, I'm almost there. But suddenly Pooh was not almost there. Pooh came down so hard that the speed split the sheet. He fell through to the ground. Bump! Are you alright, Pooh? asked Piglet. Don't worry, Pooh, said Roo. I will get another sheet. We can try again. Before Roo could run off, Owl flew down from his tree. Pooh, you are going about this all wrong, said Owl. I was B, agreed Pooh. Otherwise, I would have some honey by now. Forget bouncing, said Owl. Fly like this. Owl spread his wings and flew to the top of the tree. He sat on a branch near the bee place. See, he halted. 
was not that simple and so quick. Oh yes, all said Pooh. Now while you are up there, will you fill my honeypot? All did not hear. He is having such a good time. He could not listen. Flying, hooded hall, so much better than walking or digging or bouncing. I can't think why so few animals fly because they have no wings, answered Pooh. Still all did not hear. He flew away. But left Pooh with his empty honey pot. Suddenly, Pooh threw out of something. He thought of his kite. It was home behind the kitchen door. Perhaps this bear will fly, said Pooh, and he ran and got the kite. Pooh tied the kite to his back. Then he held fast to his honey pot and ran into the wind. The wind lifted the kite. It lifted Pooh too. He flew far away from Piglet and Roo. Oh, look at Pooh, sang Roo. Hooray for Pooh. What did Pooh do? He flew, he flew. Rabbit was in his garden. He heard shouting and singing above him. And he looked up. Suddenly, the wind died down. Suddenly, Pooh was not flying. He was falling. Oh, dear, cried Rabbit. Oh, me. Oh, my. Rabbit jumped out of the way. Bump Pooh came down in the middle of Rabbit's garden. Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself, Pooh Bear. Scolded it, Rabbit. The very idea of flying birds are not supposed to fly. You know that. Thank you for watching, guys. It's the end of the story. Bye-bye.